very, very wreck. Uh, with human resource machine. The programming game. It's a game where you program. I don't know why I say it in title. Anyways, um... So, when we last left off, we looked at this one and got a slightly... A little bit very much overwhelmed. Um, but I think... I think I kinda get it. Mm. Let's see. So essentially... What you do, because you, you multiply the two things. So you put the first one... You want to take the first one and copy it to... Here, let's, let's label this shit. So we're going to call this... First. First. Oh shit, hold on. First... Number... Smiley face. Okay, first number. And we're going to call this X for multiplying. So you basically want to take the first number and you want to multiply it by X. So what you essentially do is you take the 5 and you want to put this here. You want to put this here and you want it to essentially use this as a counter of how many times this needs to be added to it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to inbox. Copy 2. Copy 2 first. Shit. <laughs> you fucked it up already. Hold on, hold on. Let's label this one too. We're gonna call it, um, result. Okay, so inbox. Copy to first, and then copy to result. And then inbox. Copy to X. Okay, so we've got our thing set up here. I don't, this is, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't understand how anybody's gonna understand this because I don't even understand it. So the way this should work is it, so it's gonna take the first letters, numbers, so it's, it's five. So it's gonna put five here and it's gonna put five here. You can still see my cursor, right? So five, five. So it's gonna second number, it's gonna put it here. So. All right, so, and then we're gonna put a jump if zero, because if it's a zero, um, well, well, we'll get back to that in a second. We're gonna, we're gonna be back to that in a second. So copy two x. So what we want to do is we want to bump x. So we're going to bump X. And then we want to copy from first. Add. Result. Mm. Add result. jump back up to the top eh, this feels like this is making some form of sense but it also feels like it's not making sense at the same time jump to the top jump back up here and then um, essentially if this is zero we just want to we want to outbox the whole fucking thing and then jump back to the top no wait if this is zero, we want to copy from results and then outbox. I just want to see how this is going to work, so we're going to play it real quick. No, because we're not... Hold on, I need to, I need to see that again. What happened? So put the four... And the four, and throw that away. We take the two, so plus four equals eight. Oh, uh, we're not copying this result anywhere. This is the thing we're not copying. We need to put that there. 
That's the thing that you see. Oh my god, it's working! Uh... How? How am I smart? How is this working? Hold on, let's see. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh god. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> so the freak out here is, uh... We need to, if this is a zero, we need to outbox. Let's try it now. <laughs> okay. So, we were essentially using the second digit, in case, uh, for anybody who seemed a little confused by that, we were essentially using the second digit as a countdown timer, uh... Mm. Yeah, so we were essentially using the second digit as a countdown timer, um, of how many times we needed to add the first digit to itself, and essentially, we were taking that first digit we were adding it to the res we were adding it to the what was ever in the third box and we were placing that on the floor and blah 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 so on and so forth okay that after thinking it through didn't seem that bad so we're going to move on to zero terminated so it's probably going to be a small nightmare yes we believe in educating our employees on the job here do you know what zero terminated string is no it is a very old technique and we don't expect you to know so you may ask me about it, what do you like? Or you may ask an external source, whatever helps you get the job done. Okay. Add together all the numbers in each string. When you reach the end of a string marked by a zero, put your sum in the outbox. Reset and repeat for each string. Okay. So inbox. Copy to one. Inbox. Sub zero. Copy to zero. jump but if zero if this is zero we want to outbox and then jump so what this should do is so take whatever's from the first and it's going to copy it to one and then it's going to take the next number if it's zero it's just gonna no if it's zero it needs to copy from zero and then outbox Um, but if not, it's going to add it to zero and then copy it to zero, and it's going to go back to the top and grab the next number, add to zero, which should be the result of the previous addition. <laughs> I don't, this is all making sense in my brain, and I feel like it's very hard to, ex to get that point across. I, I, to me, I'm looking at this and going, oh, maybe that is really easy. And then, like, I know I'm gonna do it and fuck it up really bad. So let's, let's do this, let's try this. So theoretically, it should take one, it should take number, whatever the first number is, and add it and plop it to zero. 
we're gonna call this the uh, result again. Result. I can read it. I'm gonna fuck you read it. So call this result. You have to write it physically with your mouse. Super fun. So it's gonna it's gonna pick up the first one and put it there, and it's gonna pick up the first the next number and add it, and copy the result, to copy it to the result. Then it's gonna go to the next one, and if that number is a zero, it's just gonna copy from here and then outbox. So essentially, every time it hits a zero, it's just gonna copy from result and then outbox it. No, we don't want to sub. We want to add. That's see, I'm I'm a dummy. Let's see what this does. So. Put the one down. Throw it, pick it up. Add it. Two. Copy. Okay. It's a zero. So it's gonna copy and then. So let's speed this up a little. Yeah! We got that one. That didn't seem so bad. And because that's a zero, it's just gonna. Ow! No, how did we. I was gonna think it was super easy, and then it fucking wasn't. Okay, tell me more. What is zero? It, yes, I can tell you. A string is just a list of values, like one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. But how do we know when one string ends and another string begins? We can mark the end of a string with something special, like a zero. Here are two zero terminated strings. One, two, three, zero, nine, eight, zero. See how that works? And sometimes a string can be empty. Here are three strings. Notice that the middle one is empty. One, two, three, zero, zero, five, zero. And yes, sadly, this means a string can a string cannot contain the number zero. Since zero means something special. Well now we know back to work. Does that so if that means if it's just a zero Okay, let's run this again and see if my brain stops being stupid. Just gonna put that down. So it should be x, whatever, zero, zero, and then whatever the thing is. So I have two empty strings in the middle? Uh, uh, uh. I feel like this is the only way to do this. So, like copies to result, and then it copies to one, and then if it's a zero... No, it just needs another jump if zero, it just needs to outbox it, right? Because if you pick it up and it's a zero, no, because what if it... Hold on. Because it doesn't jump, it jumps back up here... So it doesn't... Okay, so we're gonna throw it over here. Alright, so this should help. This should help. So the 5 is gonna add it. Because if it's... Basically, we just added it so that if the thing that it picks up is a 0, it just goes directly to the outbox. So, the first number it picked up is a 0, so it's gonna go directly to the outbox. The first number it picks up is a 0, so it's gonna go... Directly the outbox. Okay, so that's all we needed. We just needed something that would detect if the first uh, number in a string was zero. Because if the first number in the string is zero, then it's not a string. It's an empty string. It's an empty string! Represented by the big empty number zero. Watch, we still haven't figured this out. That's my money. Oh, hey! So that's it. That was the only thing we were missing. We were missing that step. We were missing that step. I feel smart!